A shocking discovery at Austin's first municipal cemetery, built when Texas was just a fledgling republic. What was to be a simple renovation revealed so much more. The Night Beats' Tina Shively has the story from Oakwood Cemetery. About once a week, Pretty cool, huh? the president of Save Austin Cemetery's Dale Flat and his grandson JJ and I are gonna have to spend a day out here, young man. Take a walk in Oakwood Cemetery. I think the oldest person we have in here was 106. Um, that was ancient in those days, right? Yeah. One side packed with headstones from yesteryear, but it's a different story on the other side. If you came into town and you um, you got sick and died, or if you were just didn't have any money, you ended up in the pauper's field. Also known as Stranger's Field, people of Mexican, German, and other descents are found here, but it was the traditional burial section for African Americans. It looks empty, but there are actually people buried there. There are just no stones. Absolutely. You know, over time, either they couldn't afford one or the material they made could have been a wooden cross and just didn't survive time. Built right next to that space, this chapel in 1914. Turns out it too was hiding some secrets. Unearthed by archaeologists working with the city of Austin to renovate the building. After um, several weeks of, of pretty painstaking soil removal, very careful monitoring, we were able to assess that indeed it appeared as though the, uh, the chapel rather has been built over uh, graves. Construction immediately stopped. City Historic Preservation Planner Kim McKnight says cities like New York, Dallas, and Waco have all dealt with similar issues, sometimes poorly. And moving forward, she wants Austin to do it right. This is a very big deal, what we have found. And, and we think that um, through telling this story and marking this injustice in a very sensitive way, we can, we can really work with the community to reclaim this site. That means asking the public's opinion and putting together a working group to form recommendations about what to do next. There's a lot of stones here. Flat hopes to find more clues in the fragments. Bones are his self-professed hobby, after all. But what he really wants is for the cemetery and those likely buried in Popper's Field and beneath the chapel to get the recognition they deserve. When you can come by and you can place your hand on the gravestone of somebody who was a survivor in the Alamo or somebody who fought for Texas independence and actually put your hand on that gravestone, it helps learning and understanding Texas history just that much more. In East Austin, Tina Shively, KV News Nightbeat.